to another edition of Man Club. Today we're going to update the uh, pedals on my coupe. We got some uh, really nice uh, aluminum uh, pedals from uh, ultimatepedals.com. A guy named Rob Baylor really hooked me up with a pretty good deal. I don't know, they're, they're a little bit pricey, but you can get custom etching. Uh, mine says a cord here, and this is on the on the dead pedal or whatever. But uh, we got the clutch, the brake, and the gas, and then the dead pedal. All custom engraved, and it looks like they're really good quality. So we're going to take a you know, short afternoon, a couple hours, tops, probably just an hour, an hour and a half, and uh, get these set in and uh, see what they look like. Let's get going. Required tools for today are pretty pretty light, you know. We've got two different uh, Phillips head screwdrivers. We've got an automatic center punch, 8 millimeter open end box and a wrench, 8 inch, 7 seconds, quarter inch drill bits, and I can't stress this enough, don't have crappy drill bits. Go get some good ones for this because you're going through some decent metal on those pedals. Um, this is really nice underneath there. Instead of using a regular drill, I've got this right hand, right hand angle, whatever. Um, and then I've got a little sh short stubby screwdriver that I used. This one really doesn't have much power, but this is for drilling. That's just for helping screw in stuff. Um, so that's all we're going to need for today. Before we get going, I wanted to show you these outside the car. They look really nice. Here's the dead pedal with a custom accord that my brother hooked me up with the uh, doing that logo. Um, there's the clutch, brake, and then the gas pedal. And then it's come with some stainless steel hardware and the rubber footing uh, grips for the footings. So it looks really good. You know, hats off to uh, Rob Baylor over there at Ultimate Pedals. This stuff looks top notch. Okay, so we're going to start by just taking off the uh, rubber grips of the factory here. You just grab a corner and just kind of work it over the top edge and then you should be able to just slide it right down. For the dead pedal, it just clipped in there, so, so just grab it and kind of pull on it. You can see that just comes right off. After we get the pedals off, we're going to take some degreaser or whatever, I just use some 409. Get all the gunk off the uh, pedals before we start uh, to mount them up. Alright, next we're going to take our right angle drill and a 7 seconds drill bit and we're going to have to bore out these uh, holes in the pedals just a little bit so we can fit the uh, screw through there. Okay, so what we had to do is we used the 7 seconds on the bottom. Since these top two were a little offset, I went up to a quarter inch to give it a little more play. Now we're just going to fit in a little washer behind it and the lock nut and tighten it down. All right, once you've got your holes all drilled and everything's ready to go, before you mount it up, let's push these black things in. So what I've been doing, you just kind of push them through, through the top and you got to kind of twist them and flip them over. And you see how that is right there? Just kind of pick at it a little bit and the, uh, the corners will come through so it looks more like that. You just don't want these things popping out. As you can see here, we're making some good progress. We've got our brake on completely. Hit my first snag though, up here in the top right. I don't know if you can really see that, but behind there is a piece of metal. And the screw's just a little bit too long, so we either go buy a new screw or modify this one. I think that sounds better than going to the store. Well, we got out the Dremel. You can see right here. I just cut a little bit off, but it looks like it's gonna fit, so you need to do that or go to the store, but I got the Dremel here and I just cut it off. It's easier that way. On the dead pedal, I decided to go ahead and put that back in. I'm just going to mount this straight to it instead of trying to mount it to the metal. Uh, drawback is you're going to have to draw, uh, drill four screws to this. But uh, So if you ever take it off, you'll, you'll have to replace it. But can be a lot easier mounting it in this plastic than it is drilling into the metal. Okay, for the accelerator pedal and for the dead pedal, we got a center punch. So we just kind of line it up and we punch a hole and we'll roll it out of the way and uh, drill it. There's metal behind the um, behind the pedal and then we, we already did the top. So we can do the top first, get everything lined up. Just try not to uh, Move your accelerator pedal any closer than brake. So I just got mine right, right on the left edge of this uh, old pedal. 
And there's the uh, finished product. I really like the uh, emblems on the pedals. I don't know if you can see it that well because it's kind of bright, but there they are. It's good. Alright, so this concludes another episode of Man Club. Today we installed the Ultimate pedals, uh, pedals on my cord. I think they look really good. Uh, not too bad of an install. There's that one little get you know get you on the uh, clutch, and then uh, the most tedious thing is just putting those little rubber caps in there. You know, you just press them in real good, and then as you're put, applying pressure on the on the face side, sit there and pluck it with your fingernail on the other side, and eventually that you know that footing will come out and it'll, it'll hold in place. So we'll see how those hold up. And uh, you know, like I said, just get some good quality drill bits, and uh, it won't be too bad. Until next time, keep them hanging.